From Ravnica to Wrath, Magic players know a lot about the multiverse. It's time to put that knowledge to the test. Welcome to Battle of Wits. All right, so on the show today we have Connor. Hello. Did I do that right? <laughs> that's, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> Got it. Scott. Hello. Emma. Hello. And we have Gavin. Hello, everybody. Wonderful. Thank you ever so much for everyone to uh, come and play this little quiz. Hope you all have a wonderful time. The format's going to be simple. There's going to be five main rounds of questions covering various aspects of Magic the Gathering. I'm going to give you points for correct answers, obviously. The winner is the player with the most points at the end of the quiz. If you're playing along at home, why not get in the comments and tell us your score? Uh, so without much further ado, we're going to start with round one, which is Tiny Leaders. My favourite uh, <laughs> You're going to be shown increasingly less pixelated versions of Commanders. You have to guess what the commander is. Uh, the first person to guess it correctly gets a point. If you buzz in and get it wrong, you're locked out until the next commander. Does that all make sense? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Absolutely. Let's start with our first tiny leader. Oh my god. Oh man. Bit of, bit oh, of nice. uh, uh, Gavin has buzzed first. Oh. Is it Eureka the Tiger Shadow? Ooh, is it Eureka Ooh. the Tiger Shadow? That is the question. Let's uh, clear things up a little bit. Wow. What? Absolutely. <laughs> this man knows his purple. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, I didn't make that card, so I'm a little a little biased here. <laughs> Actually, I stared at the art artwork for a long time because at one point I was wondering if we should flip the artwork and have her on the other side. Long story. But anyway, that's a piece of art I know. Huh. Alrighty, let's move on to tiny... Oh, that's a point for Gavin. Let's get that down. Point for nice Gavin. Lad. Let's move on to tiny leader number two. Oof. A little bit more tricky this Ooh. one, hopefully. Um, got some, uh, got some whites in there, some browns. I have some ideas, but I'm not confident. I have, yeah. Mm. Mm. All right, this this next one might be might make it a little clearer. So uh, get ready on your buzzers. Oh, that's Gavin again. <laughs> is Amaru Hound of Conda? Ooh, oh, is it is Amaru nice. Hound of Conda? Yeah. He is the best boy. Uh, yes, absolutely. That's another point. For Another point for Gavin. All right, getting running away with it here. All right, this this next one hopefully a little bit easier for people. We'll we'll, we'll see. Nice bits of blue in there. Double D, double da. Is it Talrand? Uh, we've got Connor. Is it Talrand? Uh, it is not Talrand. Oh. Uh, you, you are unfortunately locked out. Emma, Scott, or Gavin? Would you like to hazard a guess? Gavin. Is it Garuda? Is it Guy Ooh. Ruda? Ah, mm. uh, come on. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, it is Guy Ruda, Doom of Depth. So you, you can actually have Guy Ruda in the command zone, strange as that might sound. Um, oh, that is weird. Yeah. All right, let's get on to Tiny Leader number four. Oh, Gavin again. <laughs> <laughs> is it Squee Goblin the Bob? Who is? Is it, it Squee is, yeah, it is. Goblin the Bob? Oh, my God. That is that is very impressive, absolutely impressive. So Gavin is running away with this round, unfortunately. So, so, uh, so I have an idea. Shall we just play Arch Enemy against Gavin? Don't take Brilliant. this one round as a heuristic for all other rounds. Also, as soon as we get into cards printed in the past four years, I will probably start doing a lot worse. All right. Let's see if anyone else can get this final one. Then let's uh, let's move on to Tiny Leader number five, which will will be the last one in this round. Ooh. This one is deliberately harder. Ooh. And purple. I think I know what it is, but I don't know the name of the card, so that's going to be a problem. Hmm. It's, it's too new. Too too new. Wow. Okay. Well, let's move on oh, to. I know. Uh, I know the art. I just can't remember the name. Let's I know move. The art. Let's move on. Oh. oh. I know who it is. it is it Yarrick the Desecrated? It is Yarrick the Desecrated. Yeah. There oh, we the, go. The green, well done. The green <laughs> gave me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want the green. a little bit of green. What did I tell you? The moment we got into cards that were printed in the last couple of years, <laughs> I got no clue. No clue. Let's move on to round number two, which is called Richer Swoo. Uh, so you're going to be shown a phrase and a card that are spoonerisms of each other. Uh, so you have to buzz in with both the phrase and the card to get the point. 
Uh, so I have an example here. Uh, we have Crazy Benefit, so that and, and a card on the right, which is Black Creatures Get Plus One, Plus One. Obviously, that would be a Mad uh. Boon and a Bad Moon. That all makes sense. Shall we, shall we uh, get on to round number two? Oh. The wheels are all going to fall off right here. <laughs> 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 let's let's see, let's see. We, we're gonna we're gonna keep the tone nice and uh, nice and classy with the first one. Uh, pooping, black and yellow flyers, and a card on the right which says destroy all islands. Oh, I know the card, but I don't know the phrase. Yeah, I know the card as well. <laughs> if you know the card, oh. you can work the phrase out by simply switching the syllables. I'm I'm not that smart, Max. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, oh, gee. Um, oh, uh, uh, it, Connor. Is it pooping bees roiling seas? <laughs> Ooh, it it is can. not. No, it's close. It's so close. Uh, oh, it's boiling seas. Oh. Not roiling seas. Whoops. Gavin. Yeah, uh, what it was boiling seas. Same same thing. Uh boiling seas and the phrase? Oh, uh uh <laughs> Sorry, I just gotta run, run it backwards in my head. Oh Well I'm gonna have to time you <laughs> out there. <laughs> oh, time back, back back to Connor. Is it soiling bees boiling seas? It is soiling bees, boiling seas. Hey, we got there. Absolutely. We got there in the got end. There in, got there in the end. I knew the card and I was like, what, a, what flies it. and it's black and yellow? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it went to its uh, rightful owner. Oh, wonderful. Excellent. Well, I'm hoping they're not all going to be uh, quite as tricky. Hopefully, hopefully we'll see you in the next one, which uh, we have a, hopefully, commander staple. So we have a oh. basketball player who dances after scoring. Ooh, Gavin. Uh, it's a junk diver or a dunk driver. Uh, that is correct. We have Ooh, dunk nice. driver. <laughs> Very good. And a nice junk one. diver. Now that I know, I just have to, have to name the card and then reverse it. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to take it from the literary standpoint, which is clearly the the less optimal way to uh, to do this. All right, on to uh, on to number three, which I'm I'm hoping that uh, the UK people might have a little bit more a uh, little bit more chance at. No pressure. So we have the colloquial name for Manchester United oh. and a card from Ravnica Allegiance. What's the card? Uh, it's... I, I, oh. I know it. I don't. Oh, I, it's, I've uh, played with it loads. Connor. Red, <laughs> Red Devils and uh, Bedlam <laughs> Revels. No. <laughs> no. God, Gavin. I can't remember the name of the card. Uh, Dead Revels? <laughs> Dead Revels, that is right. Red Devils. You just reverse it, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 not a hard game. If you can get one of the bits, you should be able to get the other one. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to give that point to uh, to Gavin, I'm afraid. Is there a card that's like Bedlam Revelers or something? Is that the one? There's Bedlam Revelers and Dead Revelers. There is? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Bedlam Revelers. On to the next one. Um, this is the hardest one on wow oh, Gavin wow not e not even Slag dead. <laughs> wow Gavin uh drag sled ooh well the, the, sorry sorry the, the card is dread slag so I guess that's All right. I I will give that to you yeah it's it is it is sled drag and dread slag so wow that is that <laughs> I without me even oh well that that's that's insane <laughs> that's way too fast. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, that that was that was the hard question out of the round. So <laughs> we are on. Oh we no! Are finished with the round. So mythic round number one. Uh, this is called natural connection. Uh, mythic rounds are premium questions. Uh, there's only one question here, but it's worth two points. So I'm going to give you three elements in the sequence. I want you. I want to know the fourth element in the sequence and the reason why that is the fourth element in the sequence. So you can buzz in early if you want to risk it, but if you get it wrong, you're locked out from guessing again. Uh, if nobody managed to uh, guess the fourth element, anyone can still guess the connection afterwards for one point. But Gavin is playing, so I assume he'll know it after the first element. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Let's move we'll on see. to the first sequence, first element 
in the sequence. Number one is Forgotten Ancient. Mm. Could be a tricky one. No, I have a good idea, but I need to see the second one. Mm. We'll uh, give you a few more seconds on that before going on to number two, which is Crucible of Worlds. Gavin buzzes in after two. <laughs> They're all you make the card cards, and the last one is Waste Not. That is. Ooh. That is correct. Number three would be Vanished Into Memory. Number four is, of course, Waste Not. And they are all You oh, Make wow. the Card winners. Galaxy One, two, brain. three, and four. Well done. That is, that's <laughs> oh, well done. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> yeah, when I saw Forgotten Ancient, I was like, this seems like the logical thing. But guessing just Waste Not off of Forgotten Ancient is a dangerous uh, a dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I had to it, give it a I, moment I, there. I, I, I could have tricked you, but no, that was good. It was good to wait. Right. If you were like, cards from a Scourge with plus and plus one counters, it would have been a really silly, uh, silly guess. So... Let's let's take a look at the scores. Uh, so oh, no. doing so well. So Gavin well. is currently <laughs> leading with nine points. Jeez. Connor, <laughs> Connor in second place with two points, and then Scott and Emma running up with zero points. I'm afraid. Keeping the bomb warm. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should, may, maybe inviting Gavin as a ringer was was the was the wrong move. <laughs> I'm, right. f- I'm fine. I'm fine playing Arch Enemy. Like Gavin Bolas isn't that isn't that bad if it's three. <laughs> yeah, <of them>. exactly. <laughs> I just like learning. I, I actually, I actually didn't know Waste Not was a you make the card winner, which is cool. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, yeah. No, it was it was, it was one of the most recent ones. Um, awesome. I love that card. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know Crucible was. That's why I yeah. didn't get that. Yeah, that's a, a very iconic know. card for it. That's surprising. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Good work, community, designing that one. Good work. My, my yeah, favorite joke is the hold up Crucible Worlds when I play a game of Commander and say, I designed this. Let's move on to round number three. Uh, round number three is a little round I like to call Topsy Turvy. So I am going to ask you Magic the Gathering trivia questions in reverse word order. Oh, no. So backwards. Oh, God. And, oh. and you have to respond <laughs> in reverse word order as well. And if you don't answer oh, in reverse, goody. you don't get the points. So, for example, uh, block Amon Ketin expansion second V was what? To which right. the answer is obviously Devastation of Our. <laughs> Does that all make sense? Yeah. This is like the soul stark of quizzes. <laughs> <laughs> Devastation of Our is this great set where the world ends up in a really bad spot and then Nicol Bolas comes and fixes everything. It's a very yeah. different set. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's go. Number one. Uh, ignited spark her when Regatha two cent was, and Kaladesh unborn was Planeswalker Witch. Uh, that is Gavin. Nalar Chandra? Nalar Chandra, that Ooh. is correct. Well done. I like to see, we, we've, got the, we've got the hang of it now, so that's good. <laughs> see about number two. Titans the imprisoned magically witch Zendikar on location, the was Winter Eldrazi <laughs> after band card what? <laughs> Uh, the that was Scott. Uh, um, it. Hmm. How do I word this? Uh, <laughs> Ugans or I Ugans? Uh, no, that's not quite correct. Uh, second person to buzz in oh, was no. Gavin. <laughs> is, it, is it Ugin of I? Ugin of I. <gasps> yeah. Sorry, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Ugin of I. Obviously, uh, yep, banned after Eldrazi Winter. Okay, uh, on to question number three. We have Igniting Sparks, Wills and Rowan as showed first oh. that ebook, The oh. of Name, oh. The was oh, what? Oh, I can't remember this. Oh, I know the art, but the cover up. God damn it. <laughs> Gavin again. Oh, we're we're going to try this. I don't know if it's right, though. Um, quest Unwildered The? That is incorrect. Would anyone else like to buzz in? Too recent for me. Connor. Quest wielded the? That is correct. Yeah, yes. I did think it was unwielded. <laughs> Thanks, Gavin, for the answer, the. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, no problem. Appreciate you. <laughs> Happy to help. El- Eldraine of Throne. Uh, why yeah, why that... would it be an unwielded quest anyway? That doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> Next question we have. Cast a more one cost spells non creature makes Innistrad from creature legendary witch. Emma. Fragment of the Thalia. 
Thraben of the Thalia is incorrect, I'm afraid. Uh, second person to buzz was Scott. Thraben of Thalia? No! Oh! Is also oh. incorrect. Yeah, I just realised. Wow, I just realised. As I said it, I was like, no! <laughs> <laughs> he just copied me. <laughs> Gavin was third to buzz. Um. Thraben the of Thalia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that no. is also what? incorrect. No. Yeah. I, I know what it is. Connor. Oh, I, I don't know. Pass. 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 I passed. Pass. All right. Well, yeah. nobody, nobody got that one. Uh, the answer yeah, was... Mr. Guardian. Thraven of Guardian. Thraven of Guardian. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Guardian. Yeah. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> nobody gets to answer that question. Wow. Okay. All right. On to, I think, is the last question of this round. Text rules short what and text reminder of lots. Having or famous <laughs> oh, is God, stop question. time. <laughs> Gavin. Turn the end. Turn the end is absolutely <laughs> correct. End the turn is uh, are the three rules words on time stop. Wow. Good good round. Um, Gavin is... Gavin has some points. Not going to lie. Um, so you're going to have to do really well, uh, everybody else, to catch up. Round four is going to be a little bit more cerebral. Uh, I, oh, no. Round four is called Judge. I'm going to be making statements about Magic the Gathering where precisely one thing is incorrect. It is up to you to buzz in and tell me what one thing is incorrect about those statements. You can have multiple guesses on these as some of them might be quite tricky. Does that okay. all sound cool? Mm -hmm. This will be so much buzzing. At the end of the original Theros block, we know the names of 15 gods. Iliad, Thassa, Erebos, Perforos, Nylea, Ephara, Phoenix, Mogus, Xenagos, Karametra, Athreos, Karanos, Farika, Iroas, and Krufix. But there was one more unseen god, Clothis, who was acting as the Jailer of the Titans. Connor. Uh Xenagos isn't a god, he's a planeswalker. Uh he well he he's a god. He ascended uh, uh, as part part of the uh, part of that set. So. Oh at the end, okay, sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so he he's he is one of the fifteen gods. Damn. Scott. Um Clotus wasn't the jailer, she was just the god of destiny? I believe she 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 volunteered she, as she the jailer of the, the Titans. Titans. Right. Yeah, she she volunteered and that's why there was a there was a space on the pantheon. Huh. Gavin. This is a bit of a stretch, and it might not even be within the spirit of the question, but um you listed out all of the gods in Wuberg order and then correct order, except for you messed up the order with um Athreos, Karanos, and Farika. Farika and Karanos should be uh Karanos is in the wrong spot, it should be after Aroas. I, I mean, th th that is that is very pedantic, um, and normally that'd be fantastic. But no, that is that is not. All right, well, it was, it, was, it was worth a shot. I suppose <laughs> worth a shot. Let me read through it again. If you if you can identify where the area is, then you know I'll, I'll be I might be generous in giving somebody a point if we if we can work out exact whereabouts we're we're, we're wrong, um, and if if somebody's a little more knowledgeable about the area once uh, once we, we know that then maybe we'll give the point to them instead so have i stumped everybody is the question emma this is a stab in the dark but there's 16 gods here but there's actually 15 originally so cloth is like the extra god if you're saying 15. Ooh, you're you're very very close to the correct answer i, I might I might be generous and uh, and oh, say wait, no, no one. Give you. A, <laughs> I might be. I might be generous in you. If you extend your answer very slightly in a slightly different direction, you might stumble onto what is actually correct here. Hmm. Have I stumped all of you? I just came into magic when Theros came out. So original Theros. So <laughs> yeah. I'm just like this. This one. This one is more it. of a law based question. So. Uh, you might be, you might struggle if you aren't up to date on your magic story. Is I the started problem. Cat, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I uh, let's let's uh, let's call it there on that one. Uh, we actually have seen by the end of Theros block sixteen gods. Oh. Uh, the extra god is called ah. Cacophony. Cacophony is the oh. god of cities that was created by Ashiok uh, in the story oh. Dreams of the City. Um, which was on the 23rd of May 2014 
Journey into Nyx happened on 2014, May the 2nd. So, what a fun fact. yeah, that oh. that is that is a, a, definitely still a god, uh, classed as god on the, on the wiki. Obviously, never seen in a card. She's um, dead at the end of Thoros, right? She's dead at the end of the story. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, the, she she lasts for well, the, the cacophony. Of the god lasts for about. Uh, a couple of hours, and yeah. then I believe Afara <laughs> kills him. Yeah, Afara comes along and just just straight up murders Cacophony. So, Damn it. <laughs> yep. Well, Cacophony did not get very Afara. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. Can we can we can we can we harness Ashok's power to forget that? Does Gavin lose points for that? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Awesome. All right, let me just reset the buzzer and we'll go on to the next one, which should be hopefully a little bit easier uh, for people. Uh, For 10,000 years following the signing of the Guild Pact on Ravnica, as a normal resident of Ravnica, you could try to join any of the 10 guilds or remain guildless. According to the D&D Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica, about half of Ravnica's population is guildless. Ooh. Ooh. Gavin. Is it that you could not try and join Demir? That is correct. Yes, actually, for nice, 10,000 yeah. years nice, following yeah. the signing of the Guild Pact, uh, most Ravnikans only thought that nine guilds existed. House Demir was magically protected by the Guild Pact. And the last one for this round, we have... Ugin the Spirit Dragon has had a storied life. From his first card reference on Eye of Ugin, of which the rules text teased the existence of the Eldrazi, he's been revealed to have been killed on Tarkir, brought back by Sark and Vol, altering the timelines, and is now the jailer for his brother in the Meditation Realm. Gavin. His first card reference was on Ghostfire in Future Sight. That is correct, yes. I tried to trick you there. Uh, yes, it, it wasn't Eye of Ugin. Uh, obviously, Eye of Ugin was the first reference on uh, Ghostfire, basically. It was the first time we ever saw the words Eye of Ugin. So, yeah. Uh, you <laughs> saw through my deceptiveness. <laughs> All right, uh, the next round is called uh, Spellbook. Mythic round number two is Spellbook. Uh, This question is worth two points. I am going to ask uh, in reverse order of points um, to... I'm going to ask you to spell someone or something from the Magic the Gathering multiverse. The first person to spell it correctly gets the points. I'm going to start... Like I just said, in the, we're going to start with the person in last place, then se- uh, <laughs> second to last place, and then second place, and then first place. So Gavin gets the last go. Um, today we've got the well-known member of the Obsidat, oh, Zil Zaxoj. Oh, Zil Zaxoj. So I'm going to say. I didn't say, even know that was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're going to start oh, no. with Scott. <laughs> would you like to? <laughs> would you like to try and spell? Zil okay. I'm, I'm gonna just start throwing random letters in because it's probably oh. just as likely as um as a random guess. Uh, uh Z H I L X A S H O S H. That is incorrect, I'm afraid. <laughs> Emma, let's it's move on gonna, to it's you. It's probably gonna be something really weird, isn't it? So we'll go X I L, um, then we'll go X A X O S Z. That is the correct answer. Hooray! That is that is amazing. Zil Saxage, yeah. I had it on fairly good. Look at the state of that guy. Fairly good authority. Yeah, the rotund gentleman in the back of the Obsidat is uh, Zil Zaxoj. Um, yeah, that, that was, uh, that's it. super impressive, Emma. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> well done. You win the Spelling Bee Championship. <laughs> the scores. The scores on the doors. Uh, we have uh, in, well, it, we'll say in, in running up I'm place, last. Scott on, okay. on zero points. Uh, we have <laughs> Emma has two points. Connor has three points. Oh, still clinging and into second. Gavin, <laughs> Gavin has Coming fourteen points. So, Gavin, Gavin is is running away with it. Um, I don't believe there's a way you're going to be able to get it back from this, but we're playing for pride now. Um, we're going to be moving on to our final round, which is Reality mm. Smasher. Great so, name. what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you a card that's created by smashing two cards into each other. 
the end of one card name starts the other card name. So you guess both cards and you get a point. Um, okay. So, for example, we have here Crucible of World Slayer, uh, which is both Crucible of Worlds and World Slayer. We smash them together to get uh, an artifact equipment, which, uh, yeah, has got a big sword attacking your planet. What a wild does that, card. Does that all make sense? Yes. Excellent. Fun. If so, let's get started with our first card, which is going to be a blue card. We have counter target spell, counter target non creature spell, unless it's control pace two. Uh, <laughs> Scott, first person to buzz. Counter spell pierce. Counter spell pierce. Absolutely, yes. We have. We're talking uh, my language now. Triple, <laughs> triple. Uh, I, I added the I added the flavor text there. There were probably lousy spells in the first place, just because is, I had to. Um, it's not the best flavor text for counter spell. <laughs> <laughs> it is, so I yeah. thought that was, that was really good. All right, Scott, off the off the uh, off the zero there. Get, uh, getting getting finally. started. <laughs> we're, we're in your element face. now. We're in, we're in your it's element now. <laughs> let's let's move on with a red card. This spell costs one less to cast for each creature on the battlefield. Gain control of the target creature until end of turn. Tap that creature. It gains haste until end of turn. And this spell deals thirteen damage to each creature. <laughs> Emma. So act of blasphemous act. I can't give that to you, I'm afraid. Or blasphemous act of treason. <laughs> blasphemous, act, blasphemous act of treason. Okay, we'll, we'll give you. We'll give that to you now. That that artwork is pretty. It's horrifying. great. Yeah. <laughs> I I I spent a lot of time on these artworks. I, I'll have you know. Thank you. So no, it's I'm a very scary guard. Yeah, I'd play that. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's move on to a green card. We have tap to add green or tap to add black and this deals one damage to you scott lanawar elves of deep shadow lanawar Ooh. elves of deep mm. shadow absolutely yes uh, as patient as generous of life let them be cast out just mashed up the flavor text there as well yeah uh well done we like pictures <laughs> i'm a visual i'm a visual learner yeah all right we'll move on to a white card then it's an enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, exile target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls until this leaves the battlefield. When it enters the battlefield, scry one. Uh, Gavin. Ghostly Prison Realm. Ghostly Prison mm. Realm. Absolutely, yes. Well Poor done. Nikki B. I would, by the way, I would, I would totally pay, play this card. This this, this is the sort of janky six drop enchantment I would I would love. So. That's <laughs> Samus and Commander. That's the card white needs for Commander. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then we'll move on to black. Ooh. Each other player discards a card. You draw a card for each card discarded this way, and target player discards two cards. Gavin. I know the first card. Siphon Mind Rot. Siphon Mind Rot. Absolutely, yes. Seven drop. Uh, lots and lots <laughs> of discard. <laughs> so much discard. <laughs> uh, right, and then the final question of the quiz is an artifact this is this artifact one tap each non-token oh. permanent with a name originally what printed in the, the antiquities expansion is sacrificed by its <laughs> controller two tap sacrifices search your library for a land card reveal it and put it into your oh, hand and shuffle I know your one library. <laughs> i know it yeah <sighs> I didn't even know the first one existed. I know, I know existed. the two cards. I don't <laughs> know they mash up, though. Ooh, mm, this is, is mm. going to be a tricky one. So it's got to be four mana. Mm. Mm. You know your, if you know your lore, this, is, this was originally printed in, in br uh, brown border, so. Brown border, ooh. Well, mono brown, yeah. baby. Mono, mono brown. <laughs> mm, I'm stumped. Have I have I stumped you all with the final question of the game, <laughs> Scott? I'll take a I'll take a random guess because I know the card, but I don't know the name. But I, I'm gonna try and work it out from the other card name. Um, okay. Is it like a Silian expedition map or something Ooh, along those lines? So oh, close. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. Connor. Golgothian Silex Expedition Map? <laughs> Golgothian Silex oh, Expedition yes. Map. Yeah. Well I knew the other one. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Uh, uh, <laughs> one, of, one of the ones for the for the uh, the older well, players hey. there. 
Um, fantastic. Great. Uh, and that <laughs> is, unfortunately, the end of the quiz. Um, I love that I know Golgothian Silex because I literally spoke to my friend Craig about cards that you could never play. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yes, yeah, yeah. No, I, I was I was looking for uh, looking for some uh, fun ones to end with, and I thought, uh, oh yeah, that that looks like a one that nobody's going to guess. So <laughs> fantastic! Uh, right, let's let's uh, round up the final scores. So on two points, we have Scott. E. <laughs> on three points, we have Emma. I'm just going to clap for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on four points, we have. Connor. Yes, and the list ends there. And the list ends there. <laughs> Perfect. If you if you completely discard Gavin, who uh, managed a very impressive sixteen points, oh. that's uh, Thank you. Bravo. Thank you. Yeah, you should work on the game, dude. Yeah. Oh, mate. <laughs> you seem to know a yeah. lot. <laughs> yeah. Let's do some final plugs. Uh, let's go around and uh, just say where people can find you on the internet, and uh, yeah. Let's start off with uh, Scott. All right. Uh, well, my name is Scott, or Savantir, as I'm known everywhere else. Um, I'm an Irish content creator, mostly for standard and modern and pioneer, that kind of stuff. Um, and I write articles as well. You can find me over on Twitter, Twitch, uh, YouTube, or Hipsters of the Coast. Brilliant. Uh, Emma. Hi. Um, so I'm Emma, uh, I write for TCG Infinite and I write about Budget Pioneer and Modern every Tuesday. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Enzyme, so that's E-M-M-N-Z-Y-N-E. Fantastic. Uh, Connor? Uh, yeah, my name's Connor, or Merchant. Uh, you can find me... I, I, I make magic videos, I normally play <laughs> Standard, I do some Commander as well, which is going to be coming back. Uh, yeah, you can find me just searching Merchant MTG on just about anything, and uh, hope to see you around. Fantastic. And Gavin. Hey everyone, I'm Gavin Verhey. I work at Wizards of the Coast. I make a bunch of sets. You've probably played some of them, like Mystery Boosters and Battle Bond and uh, uh, Commander decks, all kinds of fun stuff. But um, my newest venture that I've been working on is this YouTube series three times a week called Good Morning Magic. Go check it out on YouTube. I would love to have you watch it. All kinds of fun stuff and interviews and uh, even some preview cards will be on there eventually. So be sure to check it out. Ooh. And if you want to hit me up, you can always find me on the internet literally anywhere it seems <laughs> at Gavin <Verhey. laughs> Thank you to all my guests for taking part this evening. Hope you had a good time watching. If you enjoyed this video, why not give it a like? And if you want to see the next episode of Battle of Wits, consider giving the channel a subscribe. And remember, there is no loftier ambition than the pursuit of knowledge. See you next time.